Hello, I like Kerbal, but what I really like is building space stations, land bases, and landers. Kerbal's not very good at those because Kerbal's structures are built for rockets, and these are definitely not rockets. So I decided to expand Kerbal's capabilities some. I've created a new part, now you can ignore the thousands of mods I've got installed, I've created a new part which is Concave. We didn't used to be able to build Concave parts in Kerbal, and I think that the modding community hasn't really caught on to the fact that they're now possible so there aren't very many mods that include concave parts. I've only found two, and they're both pretty basic uh, in terms of not allowing you to... They're not, they're not very structurally interesting. So I built something called a spider, a cap spider, and all it does is sit inside of a structure. Now what does that get you? It actually gets you more than you might think. So let's build ourselves a lander. Let's put ourselves... Now you might notice immediately this has a huge advantage over any lander you've built because you don't have to build massive struts, you know, four parts, four parts, four parts, to get the legs to actually hit the ground. We could put the legs right here, and they would automatically and just naturally go lower than the engine. We don't have to build any additional structures. However, this isn't fueled right now. We don't have any fuel attached. That's okay. Let's just go ahead and grab some fuel and attach it. And this, of course, is, uh, is fuel compatible, so um, it's it's fine to do it like this, and we can also put in some other stuff if we would like. For example, we could put in uh, one of these guys if we wanted some RCS. And we can also put the legs on the outside of these if we would like. We don't have to have the legs directly attached to the strut, there's no need for that. So if you've ever built yourself a, a lander, you may have built a lander that looks a lot like this. But there's one big difference between this lander and the lander you built. This one doesn't require any struts. No struts. I think that struts are bad. I don't like the fact that your structures use struts because that lets you build whatever stupid crap you want and just tie it together with an infinite number of struts. And I think that this is I think this has grown so awful. It, it, it's so awful to the point where people are putting out mods specifically full of infinite infinite strength struts. And that's just sad. You shouldn't have to rely on struts to make your structures work. Your structures should have the structural components they need to make them work. One of the other advantages to the spider system is that they get, put a little bit of space. You see how there's a little bit of space here? And that actually allows you to do a lot of other things that wouldn't be possible if you were just using struts where you've got these big blocky components. For example, I can put uh, I can put, uh, I could put a, uh, these guys here, but that's not really what I was aiming to do. Let's put some batteries there. And again, no struts required. These all work just fine. Similarly, if I wanted to do a faded, a one where we've got some phases attached to it, we can go ahead and we can put in a normal uh, stages, that is, not phases. You can put in a normal detachment ring like this. And then we can put in a spider around it, like this. And now we have four prongs, which will detach in one go. And now this detachment ring itself is a weak point, so you're going to have to either use struts or I might release a spider, which is also a detacher. But uh, the point is that we can now attach some more engines to this uh, and allow us to get some stronger descent powers. Something like this, for example, would work fine. No, that's not the engine. I want. There it is. And, of course, you've got plenty of room in the middle if you wanted to add more stuff. For example, if you were going to do a more complicated system using, uh, 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 using some kind of onion rings uh, or asparagus staging, you could actually do it inverted from normal because you could have the interior drop out first if you'd like. Um, there's also some other options involving that. But, again, these are uh, uh, concave, so you can put stuff inside of them. And that means that if you wanted to have stuff here that just helps with your initial launch, you could do that. You could put one of these guys in here. Not a big deal. You could put in some fuel that is, uh, you could put in some fuel that you intend to use first here for your steering. You can do whatever you'd like. And it works fine. It doesn't interfere with anything. And if you need the extra strength, you can always take one of these spiders. put it facing the other way. Oh, that's too close, but um, because they stick out, you can connect them using these guys. So these struts that, you, that I don't like very much, you can in fact use to connect spiders to spiders. And previously you may have been doing something like, oh well I need to connect these things, so I need to go like, eh, eh. 
Uh, it didn't work. Uh, but now you can use a spider, and you can put a spider on top and a spider on the bottom, or just a spider on top. Uh, so if we were going to show as an example, you could take one of these small spiders and go like this. Oh, uh, there we are. That's not... I need to work out the collision meshes a little bit here. There we are. And you can take then the point like this, and you can actually just extend it like this. It's very straightforward and very easy, and you don't have to worry about trying to go along the edge just right. Of course, these can also be used for a lot more complicated things when you start to add in robotics, because you can have a spider, uh, let's say that you take yourself and put a spider on top like this, and you can put stuff inside of this spider that can fold out using robotics. So you can get yourself a hinge like these, and you can put it inside uh, like this, and you can attach whatever you would like inside. So, for example, you could put in some solar panels uh, like these guys here. And there's still loads of room in there, so you can put in some of these guys here. And whatever else you'd like. Uh, you, you'd like to have uh, yourself, you'd like to have a, um, where are the extending rods? There they are. You'd like to have one of these, put it in the middle, and then have a uh, a big comm tower. It's all right. It's all good. There's still plenty of space in there. What else do you want to put in there? How about more of these? But on the outside this time, like uh, like this. And uh, let's see. There are some mods that have some strict requirements as to where you're allowed to put things. Here's a hub greenhouse module. Do you hate the you like the hub greenhouse module, but hate the hub uh, base module that you have to have the three meter base module? Click. And this is just one structural part, one concave structural part. So I just wanted to show you that you can do so much more then you might think you can. There's no need for you to always build things that are that are structurally rockets. Not everything has to be a rocket. You can go ahead and build whatever you'd like. Um, in this case, we would need to be a lot more careful with this. We'd probably have to use um, this particular element will break our uh, our solar panels, so we'll have to be careful with that. We can actually probably wrangle it so it doesn't. If we freeze these guys and then open these further, like that, and then open this guy. Yeah, no problem. Although, of course, now they're useless. Well, anyhow, I just wanted to show you that you can build a lot of stuff using very simple concave components, and um, I think I'll probably put out a concave component pack in the near future, uh, and I'm hoping you're looking forward, I'm hoping you'll look forward to it, and I hope you'll look forward to building cool bases, landers, and sky towers.